Hello and welcome to Network Africa. I'm Anne Mwawado. We begin in Cameroon, where opposition candidates who say last week's presidential election was marred by fraud, they have had their appeals heard at the country's Constitutional Council. Opposition leader of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, Maurice Camto, who declared victory shortly after the vote without providing actual figures, asked the court to cancel results in seven regions in Cameroon. Candidates Joshua Ossi and Carbaral Libby have also asked the results to be cancelled and election to be rerun. The Constitutional Council has at most six days to decide on the petitions and to declare the results by the 22nd of October at the latest. Now let's get more perspective on this story from African Affairs. Thank you very much. Um, I got to start by acknowledging the fact that the post-election days in Cameroon is definitely his. See, uh, election on policy in Cameroon can be compared to two things. One, it can be compared to the U.S. DV lottery. And number two, it can be compared to a football match. Now, compared to a U.S. DV lottery, the saying is that winning the DV lottery is not necessary guarantee that you can obtain the visa. And even getting the visa is not necessary guarantee that you can go to the United States. Second, like into a football match, in the sense that if the referee is not satisfied, it's got to be time for prolongation and right now that's what we're seeing after the election uh, with Maurice declared as, as the winner but then you still got a lot of paperwork to be done and see what's going to happen that's how the country rose right now the country has been split into four parts like four parts of Pizza. you got your uh, bigger supporter you've got the Cam Cam to Maurice supporter you've got the Ambazonia guys and then you've got the whatever guys whatever the guys the guys who don't give a damn you know they just you know going with the flow, they can only get upset when beer prices are really high. If they're not, they are fine. Uh, one of the annual fund made a uh, barrister, barrister Ballor, about actually to, uh, went to the Supreme Court to challenge the system of the country, which is like a cancer that has eaten the entire Jews system and our uh, probably supporter sent a strong message to Cam Morris saying that um you know, just because his name is Morris Camtu, it's not necessarily a call for him to come to the presidency. It doesn't work like that. They also use another analogy that they've seen a lot of our candidates who passed the GCE mark but did not end up passing the GCE exam. That is crazy. That GCE exam and more, they are two different things. That message is definitely crystal clear. It's about the last man standing. Right now, everybody's standing. So we're just excited to see what's going to happen next. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, African Affairs Analyst. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe.